a lot of levels from the bottom lane, so having overgrowth is also a problem. And Q is actually doing a nice little job. The crush will come from Lil, but with the Leech Seed already out, burning. No reason to throw the Paralyzing Cast out just yet, but with Pasha moving over, this might be a better reason. In July, rotates in too. They go for another crush. Q is low, but the damage onto Lil is so high, the Living Armor won't protect him. Lil will get the bash in the first blood, loses his life to burning. By the river, so VP smoke up. They're about to cross over with that observer war that is see a lot, but in July, up on the cliffside, breaks it. The blind blink crush won't work. Tree protector gets a huge only five caught inside of it with the eclipse damage. Need to do more for the dark seer. The back wall, it may be enough for will it? It's a one for one trade off. The death one is doing its work, but the bat rider is IGB coming out on top. VP forced back. The Blink Crush needed to work. In July, it's not done just yet. He wants Pasha. They need to get closer. Zakata gets in behind Solo. And with the Sticky Nade Palm, he can't even turn fast enough. Paparazzi, a double kill for him. In July, kills up Pasha. It's a team wipe. The favorites, Virtus Pro, just lost everything to IGV. Scouting inside the pit with those Solar Illusions. IGV is coming illusions. to fight. They're coming to fight. So it's just illusions. The body blocking of the illusions, it just pinks. It just pinks. Solo knew what was happening. So then they just jump forward looking for the SD down a half up like the back three man ball and cross! They pay! They hit the mark! In July has to fall stop himself away on low life! But the lunar and the timber sort will drop. Timber won't be down for long. Thanks to Bloodstone charges. They're actually maybe kind of expecting with Lexi was positioning. Well, here it comes in July, jumping around the back. The Firefly Vision sees Pasha with a jump forward. He found the real DK. No one dragged in with the Eclipse. No one so long. It's just BKB over of the back wall. Space is being created now for Furnace Pro. The Eclipse still doing work. The will it be enough? The BKB Lunar now wears off to Ramsey's. One more hit will do it. Burning looks for the body block. The force up above the crush from no one do enough. But maybe with the Lucid Beam, Slaughter trapped inside the base. They're just chasing him in deeper, IGV. Doing so much work for IGV. They know where VP is moving. They can reposition for it. So they send the Timber Store in to start with. Living Arm was already up, so he tanked up a lot to that damage. Four star out, now the back of three man wall. Overgrowth needs to create a little bit of space as DK locked in position with that lasso, but now he breaks free and does his damage to Q. Paparazzi can't attack fast enough. He'll go down, and without the Lunar, IGV must be in full retreat. Or will they? The Timber Store isolated now. IGV, they've still got extra support for the Blink Crush from Lil. It keeps the Wish Doctor around. Burning will get instantly evaporated. And in July, the last man left standing, but he will not stand for long as they surround him for the death parade. Team wipe in favor of Virtus Pro. Now they can take Roshan and maybe more. Now that during her uh, BKB, it just doesn't even matter that Life Lord does not have an MKB just yet. And also, the Mesa Illusion from the Life Lord also oh, takes well. up like I thought he had a Q jumps in, throws the ulti out, the DK's low, but he can just toggle through it. They lose another two. Fine megas. And in fact, they just get the GG call. So, IGV had nothing else to defend with. Virtus Pro take game one. A very